and we are going to start. Um, it is April 1st, and it is our uh, monthly rank-up call for our um, coach community. So we just finished our um, client call. We had, I think, 63 people on that call. They, somebody did a total of the weight loss who was on there was 1,039 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we are making a huge, huge difference. You know, we're on this huge mission. And um, if I didn't say it at the beginning of this call, my name is Dee Corchin and just such an honor to be on this mission with you guys as coaches. And just wanted to kind of back up and uh, say that um, we'd like to take time to pause and celebrate. You know, we all work hard. We're moving towards goals. We can get caught up in the day to day, but it's important to slow down and to sometimes just pause and appreciate where we are, what we've accomplished, and, um, and, and learn from other people. So we are continuing to grow as a team. Uh, we added 15 new coaches to our team just in the month of March. Um, so we're continuing to grow. So thank you for continuing to share this amazing opportunity with your clients. And um, I'm so glad that they are joining us as coaches. And we also, as a team, um, hit a record number for group volume, which means we served a record number of clients to getting healthy. So on this call, what we're gonna do, because we have so many people that rank up every month, and a rank is simply a reflection of how many people and or coaches that you're supporting. Um, on this particular call, we, we, uh, we like to recognize uh, coaches that receive uh, their first rank up to the rank of senior coach, and then also to the first leadership rank of executive director or higher. So we've got several people to share, but I first want to turn it over to Meg Johnson. Meg, you had a couple of people on your team rank up, and I wanted to let you introduce them and let them share for us. Awesome. Thanks, Dee. Excited to be here and celebrate with everybody. This is like the best um, day of the month for sure to be with our clients and our coaches. Um, I did just want to mention, and Dee, I think you're still on. Um, I did want to mention that um, we had a couple of people that couldn't be on the call tonight. They're going to watch the recording. So a little shout out to Allison R. who hit senior coach. Um, she is awesome. She has a huge bit um, and great skills that she brings to the table. So love that. Also, Steph Barnes, who told me today that health coaching is like a drug, the good kind of drug. <laughs> She's loving it and just so excited, excited for her. And I'm hoping that we have Sandy on the on the line now. Sandy, if you and I think you're at a restaurant on vacation, um, but if you are on the line, would you um, unmute yourself, please, so we could celebrate you? Let's see. I don't know if she, she may not be on yet. Um, Sandy, if you're on your phone, there's a little button to unmute um, on the left-hand side. But Sandy is a new senior coach. If she's not on, she might have uh, had some things going on. But um, she just became a coach this month and is already at senior coach. And she's just going like gangbusters. And her coach, Craig, uh, brags about her all day long. So. We are so excited to celebrate you, Sandy, uh, whenever you have time, and it, it works, so let us know when you're on. Is um, Kristen Cotter, Kristen, are you on? Awesome. All right, so I am so excited to celebrate Kristen Cotter tonight, who reached the rank of Executive Director. Whoop, whoop, y'all help me give her a huge um, round of applause and to the air. Um, yeah, we are so excited for Kristen, and what I love about Kristen, is she um, she takes massive action and she is so coachable she has a huge heart and has a very powerful story so Kristen it's been such an honor to be your coach and walk alongside you take it away um, we are so excited to celebrate you thanks Meg can everyone hear me okay um, anyway so yeah it's been great I've been you know working towards trying to get to executive director for a little while um, but Meg's just such a great coach, and I think there's definitely been struggles and stuff along the way, um, but it's just been so rewarding to just be able to help so many people and, you know, see so many people lose the weight and maintain their weight loss. It's just been incredible, and I think the hardest part for me is just kind of doubting, you know, if I could get there and just kind of myself, like, and originally it was like I wanted to help one person, and, um, 
you know, I was helping my mom and that was great. And just kind of who would want me to be their coach. And so it was just awesome to see slowly how the business has grown and just how I've been able to help, you know, almost 50 people now and just see their lives change. Um, and it's just been great for my own well being and helping me stick to the plan and keep my health in check as well. Um, so it's just been awesome and just to be able to believe in myself and see other people's lives change because I decided to become a coach. So it's just been awesome. And I appreciate all Meg's guidance. Well, it's all been you. Kristen, what are you excited for next? I'm just excited to see how many more people I can help. I mean, just plain and simple. I'm just excited to see all the lives that can change because it's already changed so many people's lives. So just wait to see more things happen. I love that. And what you talked about um, getting through some of like the mindset shifts. Mm -hmm. What helped you bust through that? Because I know you've gone through so much and you've worked so hard. Um, what, what's been key for you in doing that? I think just trying to, I mean, make that mindset shift and tell myself like I am. I also didn't think I could lose weight. I also told myself like, I'll never lose weight. And so I think it's just that same shift of believing in myself. So like, yeah, I didn't think I could lose weight and then I did. And I didn't think that I could coach other people and then I did. And so it's just the constant trying to prove yourself wrong and, you know, having your support and everything has just been awesome. Well, you are easy to support. Well, thank you. Excited for you. Well, excited to see what's next. Thanks for being brave and being on here tonight and letting us celebrate you. Um, so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Dee, I know you have some more people you want to celebrate. I do. I do. Thank you, Kristen. And um, to the others on, on your team that, that ranked up and um, hopefully your other coach, Sandy, might join us before we finish up. But um, Kristen, thanks for sharing. Thanks for your transparency. I think we all know that sometimes these goals take, can take longer then we, you know what I mean? They can be a little more challenging. You take a little longer. It's not always on our schedule. Um, and it requires us often to stretch and to grow. And you've really been a great example of continuing to um, coach with Meg to find out, okay, what do I need? You know, how can I work on myself in order to achieve these goals? So congratulations on that. So I uh, want to recognize a new senior coach um, on, um, on our team, um, Betsy. And Betsy is somebody that I uh, connected with a few months ago, came on program and um, just started tearing it up with her weight loss. And so Betsy, um, Gagne, I want you to share your story a little bit and um, you know, your journey with coaching so far as a new senior coach. Can you unmute um, yourself? I think I did. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, when I first started, it was like, okay, this coaching thing could be all right, you know, and I really was not all gun ho into jumping in with both feet, but it just started kind of happening, and as it did, it was like, it just got better and better and better, so um, I'm really, really excited um, to be where I'm at right now, um, and I've actually got like three phone calls set up for tomorrow, so I'm like, yeah! Um, and I'm trying to read the notes that Dee sent me of what I needed to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the challenge myself, you know, um, getting over that you're not selling something, you know, you're trying to help people be healthy. And I mean, I've done that for years because I'm a jazzercise instructor and, you know, so I look at this as an extension of that to help people take it to the next level because we know 80% of it is the diet. Okay. Um, so I'm really excited to go there. Um, as far as what I would tell someone else, don't drag your feet, jump in with both feet, go for it right from the get go. Just go for it. I mean, the worst that can happen is somebody tells, you no. And that just means not yet. Right. They're just right. not ready. Right. Yeah. Well, I love your energy, your enthusiasm. Um, Betsy is a great example. Like she hit fat burn, started feeling amazing, and she's getting these incredible results. And if you're watching this, if you're considering coaching, I'm telling you, just doing it while you're still on your journey and early in your journey, while you're excited about it, just has a normal, natural attraction, doesn't it? Because um, Betsy, you're, you're living that. So thank you. I think we'll be celebrating you again soon. I hope so. Yeah. 
Thanks so much. <clears throat> and um, also very, very excited on our team. We had a new executive director rank up, which is just a reflection of more and more people being helped uh, with Val Evanson. And Val, I saw you out there. Can you unmute yourself? Yep, I just did. Awesome. So you've had a lot of growth in your coaching journey. Can you just kind of share your story with us and some, maybe some challenges you've worked through and what you're excited about? Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm just excited about the entire journey. I love the coaching. I love this whole team. Um, and I just love helping people feel good about themselves again. I think one of the challenges for me was really learning to step outside of my comfort zone. So at the end of this month, I was kind of right at the brink of making ed and, and that and d's like let's do a facebook live let's do this and i'm just like oh, i don't know if i can do that you know just being nervous and wondering what people thought about me but i had the luxury i be as my you know official coach but i work with larry so you know we are in work conversations then he'll be like call d she can help you get there so um i have that benefit and it's just a matter of stepping outside of your comfort zone and i think i even texted i've texted d and i know i've that Larry links at work, like, who cares, right? Who cares? Just do it. Just go post it. And so I, I just went and did a couple posts, did a Facebook Live this week, and you know, advice for um, new coaches starting out: just be consistent and follow up. That's one thing um, that I ended up signing up a girl on Saturday, who I the first time I talked to her was last October. So you know, when you say all they can say is no, it really is not yet. Cause I think her and I have had probably 10 conversations since then. And finally she was just like, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, you know, be consistent, keep following up, um, you know, and that's, and go back and follow up with everybody that you've had a conversation with. So, um, and I just, I appreciate all the mentorship from, from all the coaches on the pages and, and from D as well. So um, I'm excited. Lots to look forward to. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you, Val. And I think one thing that I, have really noticed that you've done has been willing to step into kind of that place of vulnerability. So like you don't, didn't just do a generic post, you actually did like your story, you know, and your before pictures and your current pictures, you know, even though you've been on the journey for a while. And then we did a Facebook live together sharing your journey. So these are all things that every coach can do at any step of the game as you know, and I think that Meg just put it in the comments that when you just share with your heart, and people kind of see who you are and what you care about that that attraction comes and they're they're ready so so congratulations to you and um thank you I want to turn it over to julie apple i know julie you've got a new senior coach on your team yeah i just i think georgie's on here um she was finishing tennis practice so <laughs> um georgie jumped on board about um a month ago i think we got her set up the beginning of march and she um is already a coach, but she coaches on the tennis court. So we talked and talked and she's having such great success on program. We knew people were asking her what she's doing. And so as soon as that started happening, it was real clear that it was time for her to jump into coaching with the program too, and just put the two together. So it was a great fit for her. And so we've been working together closely this month. And so yesterday we were able to help her get to senior coach and she earned her bonus. And so it's just been an awesome month for her. So Georgie, if you want to share a couple tips, um, we'd love to hear. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, it's been such an amazing journey and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I took a leap of faith with, with the program and it paid off. I mean, I can't believe it, how good I look and uh, how, how, how good I feel. <laughs> you know, it's like me and you. And you know what's funny about it? I don't fit in any of my clothes now, except my, some of my tennis stuff. But now everything, it's like, it's so much looser. And before they were just tight and I couldn't fit in because they were too small and now they're too loose. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's been, it's been a great experience. I've learned a lot. Um, I think the community, everyone that, you know, posted stuff um, on our group page was so helpful to see that I wasn't the only one. This. Everyone had their own, you know, struggles and challenges. And, you know, I read the post, I posted some stuff, I learned from them. And Julie, you've been so amazing. You've helped me with every step of the way, anything, anytime. <laughs> what about this? What about that? So it's been, it's been really, really, really uh, amazing. And 
I just uh, so I'm in my week two of transition. Um, it's it's I I feel a little bit the changes, and but but it's good. I still feel good, and I'm really excited to actually maintain my maintain my weight, maintain my body, and just kind of go from there. You know, just mm-hmm. learning new habits, like you know. And I needed that. I needed the structure. I need to tell you what to do and I will do it instead of me figuring out what am I going to eat today? How much calories these things and how much that. So the program really, really helped me to get what I, what I needed, what I wanted. And how is, how is coaching fit that too? Like what's that added for you and what are you excited about? Oh, because I have so many people. (laughs) It's like, the comments and you look amazing and what you do like i'm i'm gonna set up like today i've been texting to one another lady that i teach like we're gonna probably wednesday we're gonna have a, a call we're gonna have a conversation maybe we'll, we start her on the program but that's what for the last couple of weeks this is what i've been doing like talking to people because i'm a living proof that the program works and you know i mean it's exciting you know when people are interested they want to change their habits and, and, you know, just kind of work on themselves, you know, you work on your body, you work on your look, you work on your confidence, you work on yourself and it's worth it. The money, the time you put into it, it's so worth it, you know? That's awesome. We're excited for you, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. And somebody asked in the comments, Georgie, how much did you lose? 20, well, 20.4 now <laughs> because... Uh, this morning I weighed myself again, so I was 26.6, and last week I was uh, 127 pounds, so it's like 20 that I lost, but I, and I lost like 0.4 more, but because I'm adding now, obviously my weight is going to fluctuate a little bit, and, and at some point I'm just going to maintain it and stay there. I mean, that's the goal. Ultimate goal is to stay <laughs> to stay in a good, good, healthy way when I feel like I'm very comfortable. Fantastic. Well, lots of comments. I don't know if you got a chance to see them, but everybody loves your energy, your enthusiasm. <laughs> so keep that rolling. It's just going to keep getting better and better as you pay this forward and uh, help more and more people yes. feel and look as good as you are at this moment. So awesome. Know, it's been a lot easier than I thought. Like it really, I really enjoy doing it. It was it wasn't like too difficult. Like it was good. <laughs> it <Fantastic>. was good. <laughs> love it. Love it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Julie, for introducing. And um, uh, Meg, just real quick, I just wanted to see is Sandy on or that you know of? No? Okay. No worries. Um, this gives us a little more time, which is awesome. So uh, I get um, the pleasure of letting you guys know, hopefully you saw it on our page, but just uh, filled with joy to let you know that Meg Johnson uh, qualified as a global director in the month of March. So this is huge, you guys. This is a really big deal. Um, Because you know why? You don't just land in a rank like that. It is all about pouring into not only clients, but developing coaches and developing leaders. And um, Meg, in the short, you know, I don't think it's even two years that you have been coaching, um, have really stepped up to the plate, just continuing to learn and grow into this role. So um, I personally, as your coach, Meg, I'm just I got, you know, a quivery voice because I'm so excited and proud of you. Um, But we want to hear from you. Just what's this journey look like and what's been good, what's been hard, and what are you most excited about? Well, thanks, Dee. And I'm a little embarrassed because I totally teared up sitting here. So I hope I just don't become a blubbering mess. But um, a big part of that is I never really thought that it was possible. Um, and I come on here and, you know, I'm, I'm real, I try to be real positive and happy and I like to like move my hands around. But what people don't know is I have a lot of insecurities and fear about myself. And um, last year, it was a year ago that I went to my first Go Global and they were giving out these structural tension um, bands. And the whole premise of everything was like Go Global and everybody was talking about when they were going to be global. And I question like, am I going to ever be able to do it? Can I do it? 
And so I picked up five of these little bracelets and I started praying for my five transformational leaders, um, for those, those coaches that would help me, um, help more people and, um, create this, um, just difference in the world. And that's really what I feel like Optavia is. And I'm sorry that I'm crying here doing this. This is a little embarrassing, but I think it just goes to show like, this is real. Um, and, um, anyway, so I'm just, I love being a part of this team. I love what everybody that's on this call brings here to the table. Um, and I think the biggest, the biggest thing, so the, some of the questions D asks is how did this happen? Um, what led to this? Um, and I think number one is mentorship. Um, I talk to my mentorship team, D and my other business coaches, even when I don't want to, which happens. Um, so I really try not to hide. Um, there are going to be times that you don't want to talk to your coach, but it, that's when we've got to do that. We've got to check in. Um, they are the ones that can challenge us. Um, another thing that was really helpful was going to events. Anytime you qualify for an event, I highly recommend that you show up. Um, if it's convention and everybody, clients, everybody's allowed, you know, invited and, and encouraged to come to convention, you got to get there. Find a way to make it happen. Um, go global, obviously with these bracelets was huge for me in my, um, in my journey. So yeah, I think that was really helpful just to see things bigger and to see things on the big scale. Um, and I know honestly, one of my challenges, um, and my sweet husband is on the call right now from our kitchen. We're on different floors, which is kind of funny. Shout out to him. But, um, we had trouble sometimes like he wasn't always really super supportive right he was a little annoyed i was on the phone so much and but when he started coming to events and he saw what was possible with optavia and he saw how happy it made me that it was lighting my heart on fire to help other people and to build this business and help other people build businesses when he came to the events he saw it bigger and he jumped in and now he's, he was on our client call. We were on separate floors, but he, you know, he wants to jump all in. And the more he's at events, the more he wants to jump in. And now we're dreaming big about maybe bringing him home from his full-time job, which is crazy. And it's because, you know, he's bought in and he's really supportive. So highly recommend bringing spouses. If you want some, a spouse to talk to, you can talk to Will, you can talk to, um, Larry, you can talk to Zach. I mean, we got all kinds of spouses up in here that, that want to help. Um, so anyways, enough about that. But, um, other challenges, I think I, I mentioned this is just the fear that do I have what it takes? Can I do this? Um, and so I, that's another reason why mentorship, you know, just pouring life into you and, and reminding you that, listen, it's all it is, is loving people you know, getting to global or getting to executive director, or D at presidential, it's just loving people and showing other people what's possible. And I think honestly, what I'm learning is that's got to start with me. I've got to love myself first and take care of myself, fuel myself with the right foods, you know, do things that take the stress off or whatever. Um, and believe in myself first, because if my tank isn't full, how am I going to give it to all these other people? my clients and my coaches. Um, that was a big one. Um, and I'll tell you like my last tip and then D hope, hopefully I haven't talked too long. Sorry. Um, but as far as the tip for, um, how to reach global, um, is to, to know where your team is. So we created a spreadsheet that helps us figure out where all of our coaches are and how close they are away to the next rank. Because I think we all, me especially have a lot of fear and doubts and can it happen? And so I think when you could break things down for people and show them that number one, it can happen, you believe in them and then break it down to how easy it is to get to senior coach or how easy it is to get to executive director. Senior coach is just helping five people, right? And so when you think about that, like, I mean, we can do that, right? So I think breaking it down for me was really helpful and allowed me to, to help other people figure out how to move their business. So that was my, the tip that I wanted to share and D I'll pass it to you. Hopefully I have it blubbered and overshared over here. No, we got plenty of time. So if there's anything else on your list, I know that, um, that, that people would uh, love to hear. Does anything else come to mind at the moment?
I'm just really thankful for this, for UD as my mentor. I'm thankful for this team. I'm thankful for the coaches that I get to work with that really have incredible stories of transformation and um, do the work to love on the people. Um, that's, man, I, the, earlier somebody said it's not about sales, sells, like we're not selling anything. And that's right. Like who wants to work with a salesperson, right? Like we, we want to love people and believe in them. Um, it's all about, you know, casting that, you know, that vision and that love and coming from that place with a full heart. Um, so I just wanted to say that. And I think, um, I don't know, you probably want me to talk more about my fears, I think. Um, because I do come on here and I am peppy and happy and all that, but I, I have a lot of negative self-talk. And so one of the things that I'm learning is every time that doubt comes in my head and y'all, I made global yesterday and yesterday I was having negative self-talk, which sounds crazy when you say it out loud. But one of the things that I'm learning to do is every time I, I have a negative thought, like, oh, I don't, I don't know how this can happen or whatever, I immediately follow it with a positive thought, but it can happen, right? The obstacle is the way. We just need to find, you know, one more person to help or whatever. I mean, whatever it is. But, um, and anytime you start to feel overwhelmed, like you have too many clients, you know, take it one step at a time. Um, fill yourself with that positivity and, and end on that positive note. I think, I think that's great advice. Um, Frank wanted to know, and I think you might have said it, but maybe you can just, Frank wanted to know what was your biggest obstacle or what has been your biggest challenge? Um, what hasn't been my challenge, right? Um, uh, probably the, the biggest one has probably been fear, you know, like felt like I was, honestly, I was scared of hitting global. Like what's that going to require of me? What does that mean? Do I have what it takes? I'm, I'm just Meg, you know, I'm just me. I'm just a stay at home mom, you know, changing diapers, doing my thing over here. Like I'm not, you know, um, so I think it's been just that, that deep seated fear that's like, I'm not enough, right? Which isn't true, right? Like all being global is, or any, any of that is just loving on people. And I can love on people, you can love on people. Um, so I think the biggest obstacle that I've experienced is getting, and somebody else already said it, but it's getting in my own way and being afraid, um, being afraid of what, you know, not really, honestly, it's being afraid that I'm not good enough which is probably my greatest fear. Thank you for being so honest about that. I would say probably if we were all honest, that's probably a fear we all have. And um, I think you've been such a great example. I think our stories and we are very similar in a lot of ways of what people see versus what's going on on the inside. But I think what's awesome, Meg, is that you've been willing to do the work on yourself and the and work through that, you know, because we can let that negative self-talk, those you know, children in the attic, those voices can be loud. And um, we've first got to be willing to, um, to work on that and maybe get some help if we need to. And you've been um, so great because you can only grow that, you know, that there is truth that you will only grow in this business as much as you personally grow. And one of the things Meg and I talked about today, and, and I had the same thoughts, like when I hit global, when I hit presidential, like, like, oh my gosh, what does this mean? And what does this require? And you know, what's different? And the reality is it's nothing's different because Meg has grown into this role. Like she is a global director because she learned the skills and applied the skills and did what it took to learn how to successfully acquire and support clients and how to successfully acquire and support coaches to their goals. So um, as you know, that's what we're training and we love to help everybody do. So Meg, thank you for sharing with your heart. Thanks for being so honest. We're so proud of you. Um, so proud of everybody on our team. There were many people that ranked up that weren't recognized because they were one of those in between ranks, but please know that every person on this call matters together. We are making tremendous impact. Um, thank you, Will, for being on the, uh, on the call and supporting Meg. Um, you know, not every husband wants to join the business or every spouse wants to, but they can support in some way, whether it's doing the dishes or taking care of the kids, whatever it looks like for your family. Um, but I know it's made a big difference in my family. And thanks for, for pointing that out, what a difference it made. 
in your journey as well. So um, thank you guys, everybody for being on. Um, April is going to be a fantastic month. We've got some fun things planned that we're going to be rolling out for our team to help continue to grow and to build. Um, but the first step is, is continual learning. So I encourage you to um, just hop over to Dr. A's call. Dr. A's um, a monthly call or a weekly call at 8 p.m. is right now. So um, have a good night, everybody. We'll see you next week.